Hello. And welcome back to another video. So recently I've been getting a lot of questions about how to join GTRP or how to actually just get started in general. And I did make a guide a couple months back, but I figured I would make a quick start guide, a very, very fast one, just so if people are looking for a way to kind of just get into it immediately, don't have to worry about too much. I wanted to make a guide showing you how to do just that. So in this video, we're going to be going over how to download the different clients for RP. In this video, we're only going to be going over 5M and Rage MP, as those are the two primary ones that are used, and I really haven't seen any of the other ones be used all too often, if not at all. Uh, then we also are going to go into how you can join RP on console. Again, I'm not super versed in joining RP on console, but I did some research and I figured I would show you guys how to join it if you do want to and you don't have a PC and you want to try and get into RP, but again, you don't have a PC. I'm going to show you guys some ways to get into it on console. And then at the end of the video, we're going to go over just some common rules, uh, just some basic ones that most servers, if not all servers have, just so you guys get a decent idea of how to play on these servers and how to not get banned immediately. Again, we're not going to go too in-depth with it, but we are just going to go over some very common ones. And then that's where we're going to end the video. Again, hopefully this video helps you guys out. Again, I'm going to try to make this video as short as I can. Hope you guys enjoy. And if you guys have been enjoying these videos, make sure to subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with how to download and use the 5M client. Alrighty, so first you're gonna to wanna to head over to the 5M website over at 5M.net. Again, all these links will be in the description for all the different clients we go over and all the different servers and different discords we go over in this video. And we're gonna to wanna to do again, once you go over to 5M.net, you should be brought to this homepage. All you're gonna to have to do is go to the top right where it says download client, click on that. It should bring up the terms of service, of course, agree to that. And after you've agreed to it, it will download 5M. And after that, once it should be downloaded, just double click on it to open it up. Your first time opening it up, it might take a second because it will have to probably download some stuff as you see here. Probably has to download some stuff in the background. So it might take a little bit of time. But once it is done downloading, you'll be brought to the screen where it says verifying game content. And after that, it should bring this up where it says game cache outdated. All you're going to have to do is just hit yes on this. And again, it should download a couple more things. This shouldn't take too long. It only should be about around 700 megabytes. Should not be too bad. And after that is done, I'll catch up with you guys in just a sec once again. All right, once it is done, it will do this last patching thing. And then, boom, it should start you with, up with 5M immediately. Now again, this might be slightly different if you have it on Epic Games or if you have it on some other thing besides Steam, but if you do have it on Steam, it should automatically recognize where GTA is on your computer. And then after a second, if it gives a second here to open up. All right, here we go. 5M is now opened up and you are brought to this screen. Now again, this is with Steam. This is the this is the way I recommend doing it the most is with Steam. If you really need to, you can go on to, I think, G2A or some other websites and find Steam codes for GTA 5 for literally like $5. So I recommend just picking it up on Steam. It makes this whole process a ton more easy. Then once you are brought to this screen, you're pretty much good to go at this point. All you're going to have to do is find an RP server that you want to be a part of, hit play, and then, uh, of course, you're able to see all of the different servers here. There are a ton of servers on 5M. It's not just RP. So if you want to try out some of these other servers, such as gun game servers, racing servers, tycoon servers, uh, there's tons of different stuff to do on 5M. But this is how pretty much to download 5M. Use it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for 5M again. You can also just, you know, click on different servers. You can favorite servers from here. Then if you want to go back to those servers, you can hit your favorites. It will be listed here. Um, it's pretty nice again. It takes a couple seconds to get used to, but it's a pretty, pretty nice UI. And once you get used to it, it's super easy. Now, again, uh, to change to join most of these servers, you are going to have to either get whitelisted or find them uh, in some other way. I do have a video going over some of the best servers um, on 5M, although most of them are whitelisted, so you will need to apply. I will be making a video in the future going over all of the public RP servers that you do not need to apply to to get in. So make sure to look out for that. But that's pretty much it for 5M. Again, I really do recommend getting uh, GTA 5 on Steam if you are going to be using 5M. It makes everything a whole lot easier. And again, is only a couple bucks on GTA. G2A or some of those other websites or you can just find it on sale sometime but I think it's gonna be about it again for 5m next we're gonna move over how to download rage MP and use it which is another client on 5m which we're gonna be going over right now let's get right into it all right so now you're gonna to want to head over to rage.mp again the link will be in the description as it will be with everything in this video 
Also, um, there before we go too much into Rage MP, I did make a video comparing 5M and Rage MP. So if you want to know the primary differences between the two, make sure to check out that video. But again, let's go and go to Rage MP. And again, same as if you do with 5M, you're going to go to the home page and there should be a big download button. You're just going to want to click on that. Should it again download it real quickly to your Chrome or whatever different kind of browser you use. And once it is done downloading again, as you do with 5M, you're just going to double click on it. It should open up. You should probably hit yes. And then you're going to be brought to the setup screen again. It's pretty simple. You're going to hit next, hit agree. And then you're going to select your destination folder. Again, you can put this pretty much anywhere. I recommend putting it on your main drive or your SSD to help with loading times. It really does help out. Install. You're going to go through this whole entire thing. It will take a second or two to install everything. But once it is done, we'll move on to the next step. Again, this might take a couple seconds for you to install. So maybe go grab something to eat, grab something to drink. And then we're going to be right back. Alrighty, once it is done downloading, which actually was a lot faster than I thought, I thought it was going to take a lot longer. All you're going to do is obviously hold, uh, have this check mark for Run Rage Multiplayer. You're going to hit finish. It should launch Rage. It might take a second or two for the first time launch. Here we go. And again, I do recommend having GTA on Steam. It really is the only way to go for these things. It makes it a ton easier. Then you're going to be brought to this main screen. Here, you're going to be able to browse a bunch of different servers. You're also going to be able to set your favorites by right clicking on them and hitting add to favorites. You're going to be able to check your favorites from here. You're going to be seeing your history for the different servers you've joined. Um, at the top, you can also hit this button up here. It looks like a little download button to direct connect to certain servers. There's also this filter up here where you can change the different language of the browser. You can set up different settings. You can have a name. So for instance, our name would probably be Zez. Again, this stuff doesn't really matter um, until you're actually in game and you can set all your different settings that way. Uh, you don't really have to do mess with any of these settings at all. Uh, I would just keep everything pretty much the same. And then here again, you can just join servers by obviously clicking on them and it will just join it from there. Uh, again, some servers are whitelisted, so make sure to make sure you're whitelisted when you're trying to join some of them. It will also, whenever you join a server, will go and just download all the server assets for you immediately. Also, same thing with 5M. The first time you join a server on either 5M or Rage MP, you're going to want to, after you load the server in and everything, and are on the server for around 20 to 30 minutes, restart your game and rejoin that server. Again, you only have to do this once, but it does have some time to load in all the assets, and you may have to restart your game once or twice your first couple of times joining a certain server. Server. So that's about it for 5M and Rage MP. Now those are the two primary ones you're going to be using. Uh, there are some other ones like Alt V, but those are way less used. So I figured I wouldn't mention them too much in this video. If they start getting used a lot more, I may make a separate video going over them since I'm not too familiar with them myself, but I am pretty familiar with Rage MP and 5M. So next, again, we're going to go over and talk a little bit about console servers, how to join them and how they work differently from, of course, uh, PC servers. And then also at the end, we are going to be going over some basic rules of most servers, just so again, you're not getting banned immediately and you have a little bit of an idea of what to do on these different RP servers. So again, let's talk a little bit about joining an RP server on a console. Alrighty. So again, we are over at gtaforums.com. I looked around for quite a while and this seemed to be the place to find the best servers for RP on console. But again, I actually couldn't test any of these since I actually don't have GTA 5 on console or really use console at all, unfortunately. But if you were looking for a GTA RP on console, this is probably the best way. Now, unfortunately, since it is on a console, you cannot have modded servers, but people still do make lobbies and such online and with Discord and then communicate through there. Um, you can scroll through here and you'll see a bunch of them. See GTA 5, Xbox One, RP. Um, you can keep it going around PS4. They have online races as well. It's not just RP on here as well. Uh, GTA 5 or GTA PS4 roleplay discord server. There's a bunch of these out there and you have find one that has a good community is really what you want to be looking for. Um, so I look over here where you can see the views as well as the comments and look for the ones with the highest views and comments. And I also recommend doing control F or actually I think you just search up here RP. They should bring you over to some PS4 RP servers, you know, different ones here. These are all again posted very recently. So I look at some ones that are maybe a little bit older or look for ones that have kind of a more known name. Uh, I think this is the one that keeps showing up for me. I keep seeing this one. So I recommend, you know, looking around the website, testing a couple of things, maybe messaging some people, seeing what they think of different communities. But there definitely are a lot of console RP servers. It's just hard to find one, of course, um, or it seemed to be hard to find one until I found these forums. And this is really where you're going to want to look for Xbox servers again. It might be a little bit hard to get into them and hard to get into it but uh once you get into it hopefully it is all good again this is all gun done with discord because unfortunately again there is no modded servers for console but they still again do do it on discord so i recommend going onto this site maybe searching for rp and kind of going from there 
So about, that's about it for, uh, again, console servers. Again, I wish I could go a little bit more in-depth, but unfortunately, I do not have a console, and uh, or at least I don't play GTA on console, so I wouldn't be able to do too much, but hopefully this helps some of you guys out of at least finding a website to get a starting point and kind of find servers through here. Next, again, we're going to be going over some basic rules that are on most servers to make sure you don't get in trouble. Let's go into that right now. Alrighty. So again, we're not going to be going super in depth with rules just because every server that you join is going to have slightly different rules, but I figured we would go over four main rules that pretty much almost every server has. So starting off, uh, where the four rules we're going to be going over is DM, also known as death matching, VDM, also known as vehicle death matching, power gaming, and then ending it off with metagaming. So again, let's start off talking a little bit about DM. So starting off again with death matching, this is a common rule on pretty much every RP server you're going to join. Now there are some variations of it of course, but in short, it's basically just killing or attacking another player for no RP reason or no reason at all. An example of this would just be again just attacking someone who did literally nothing to you and taking all their stuff or something like that. Again, um, it's basically in short literally just attacking people for no real RP reason or no prior reason. Now there are servers that have slightly different DM rules, like for instance on some, if some guy robs you, you might have a 4 hour period, or if you do see him, you can shoot him on site. But again, these rules are different for every server by a little bit, so I definitely recommend whenever you join a server, of course, go through the rules, read them all, and make sure you understand them. The next common rule we're going to be talking about is VDM, also known as Vehicle Deathmatching. This is basically the act of just running people over. Now again, as I said, same with deathmatching. Some servers do have some different rules around this, and what situation you can actually hit people with your car. But in general, VDM is just the act of hitting people again with your car or running them over for no RP reason. And most servers don't allow you to just ram people to death. But again, uh, every server is different. So definitely recommend checking out their rules. And, but in general, VDM is just running people over for again, no reason or using your vehicle as a weapon. The next rule we're going to be talking about is, of course, power gaming. Now, power gaming is basically, in short, again, using an action or doing an action that your character wouldn't be able to perform or abusing game mechanics in a certain way. So this, an example of this could be possibly unseating and seating someone from your car or dragging people mid-jump or handcuffing people mid-jump, uh, just a bunch of stuff that your character realistically would not be able to do or just abusing different features or mechanics of the game. Now, the last common rule that we're going to be talking about in this video is metagaming. Metagaming, in short, is basically using out-of-character info or info that your character would not know, in-characterly, or using it as if your character knows that info. An example of this would be, say, someone on Discord or something said, uh, hey, I'm selling ARs or I'm selling an AK, and then you go in-game and you contact them saying, hey, can I buy an AK? I saw you posted on Discord or something like that. Or someone going on Discord saying, hey, we're doing X at X time. Um, now, not always this is metagaming. There is different scenarios and different root servers that allow a small portion of being able to use outside information. But in general, uh, relaying information to each other or talking to each other. Like, for instance, you got downed in a shootout and you go on Discord and you tell your friend, oh, this cop is on this tower or this cop is on this building. That would be another example of metagaming. Again, it's just using information that is not relayed through in character actions. Now, that is pretty much it for this video. Um, once this video uploads, if you guys do have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section below. Hopefully this video helped you figure out how to start RPing and how to download the different clients and how to do so, and also a little bit of the common rules and give you a little bit of idea about the lingo on some of these RP servers you might see. Hopefully you guys did enjoy though, and if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, and if you want to, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.